Hey folks, believe it or not, nine out of 10 Christians can't even name God's 10 laws for life and liberty. And that's surprising considering the fact that Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commands. Well, how can you keep what you don't know? So that's why we created a way to make it so simple to list the law and to do it in order, even an eight-year-old can do it. Check this out. Put God first. Second, thou shalt make no idols. Third, thou shalt not put God's name in vain. Fourth, remember the Sabbath day. Fifth, honor your father and mother. Sixth, thou shalt not kill. Seventh, thou shalt not commit adultery. Eighth, thou shalt not steal. Ninth, thou shalt not lie. Tenth, thou shalt not covet. So let me bar your fingers for just one second and show you how simple and easy it is to learn the law and to list them in order. Let's start with number one, put God first. Number two, don't bow down to idols. Number three, don't take God's name in vain. Number four, where are these people going? They're going to church. Why? Because they're honoring the Sabbath day and keeping it holy. Number five, it's like a spanking. Honor your father and mother. Number six, they turn into your six shooters. Thou shalt not murder. Number seven, we turn into an A. Don't commit adultery. Number eight is a mask. Who wears a mask? Those who steal. So thou shalt not steal. Number nine, with this guy hiding. Why is this guy hiding? Because he's lying. And that's what we do when we lie. We hide from the truth. And last but certainly not least, number 10, turn like this. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Thou shall not covet. Start to practice putting God first, not, not bowing down to idols, not taking God's name in vain, honoring the Sabbath day, keeping it holy. Five, honoring thy father and thy mother. Six, thou shall not murder. Seven, thou shall not commit adultery, eight, don't steal, nine, don't lie, and 10, don't covet. The more you do it, the better you get. And that way, when you run into a self-righteous, proud person who needs to see their need for forgiveness, you'll be able to quickly take them through those commandments and help them see that like every one of us, they're a sinner in need of a savior.